Hello and welcome to our crafting session today. My name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you're well. It is, let me see, Wednesday the 19th of October 2022 and I have been using this stamp set during the week called Brood For You as you can see and it features three different glass styles. We've got this one here, beer tankard and a straight beer glass. It also has a bottle and three sentiments that go with it. I owe you one or several, another round for your birthday and oh, hey, oh yes. And it also has a froth here that you can attach to the glasses and some bubbles and three infills for the stamps themselves. Morning, Carol. So, um, this is what we created on Monday. This one here with the straight beer glass. And then this was the one that we created last night. And for this one, I cut out that central glass using the dies. And I had the dies to hand, now I can't see them. Oh, here they are. Morning, Jeanette. Let me also find you on my phone so I can see, see who's appearing a little bit easier. Okay. So these are the dies. So you have outline dies, you have infill dies with little sort of bubbles on them, embossed, and then we have some leaves and I presume this is a hop, I'm guessing, a hop um, flower, seed bud, I'm not quite sure. And you've also got elements here to cut out the froth. So today what I wanted to do was use the beer mug here, the sort of tankard one. And what I wanted to do was have two of them um, facing each other or facing away. Morning, Catherine. And good morning, Shaz. And so what I'm going to do, excuse me, is use my stamparatus to do some mirror stamping. But I'm also going to do some mirror die cutting because obviously the die is only designed to cut this one out facing that way. Morning, Fran. Um, so I'm going to have a go at doing the mirror stamping and then die cutting this one the other way so let's see how we go this one would be quite easy to die cut um, the other way as with this one um, but there's no difference because it's symmetrical so you wouldn't need to so we're going to have a go so let's start with a piece of white card and my stamparatus I am just going to stamp out that image to start with on my um, play sheet which will stay with the stamp set and I do apologize because I pulled a muscle in my right arm yesterday and so it's extremely painful just in certain positions I have no idea how I did it but I think we'll be okay not having to put too much weight on it so Okay, so there's the outline tankard. And let's use So Saffron. So again, you can use the infill or you can colour it in. I'm looking for So Saffron. Which would be on my desk, but I can't quite see it. So let's go Cajun Craze. 
in the meantime. So this is for the infill. And I did make a little note here, cinnamon cider, Cajun craze of the different colours, because if I come back to use it in, I don't know, six months time or something, I will have forgotten what I used. Okay, so. There we go. Okay, do nicely. All right, so let's get the stamparatus out for some mirror stamping. Now, I'm sure you will have seen me do this if you've been following me for a while. If it's not and it's the first time, do let me know. Okay, let's put that up there. Okay, so I'm going to die cut both of these out. So I'm just using a larger piece of card, like so. And the trick to this technique is using a silicon mat or something non-porous. So you can use a piece of acetate, you could use some window sheet, um, but I find the silicon mat is good because it's got a bit of, um, it, it's not tacky, but it's got a nice surface for the ink to hold on to. So I'm going to take it off from here and then doesn't really matter which way it goes because I'm going to die cut them anyway. Um, but I'm just going to pop that one on there like so. Pick that up with the plate and I have got my foam mat underneath. So I'm going to ink this one up. I'm using early espresso again. Just giving that a nice amount of pressure. There we go. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is take that piece of paper away in a minute we're going to grab our silicone mat and pop it in place so we're going to stamp onto the mat and we're going to ink this up I'm going to stamp it a couple of times because we're stamping onto this and then off again I want a fair bit of ink to be transferred Oh, sorry, I sound really croaky this morning. I was quite croaky yesterday. Okay, so there's one. So you can hopefully just see that image on there. I'm hoping you can see that. Link it up again. I didn't need to have taken that piece of paper out. I could have left it under the mat, couldn't I? Never mind. Okay, and there's that one there. So what I'm going to do now is I've got my ink on here. I'm going to take my image from here, turn it over and place it onto here. Now, if I wanted to, I could just use the other side, but it should be absolutely fine. But what you want to do is just put it on carefully Okay, and then I'm going to use the image on the back and because that's in the same place as the image on the silicon mat when I take this off being well I've got the reverse or the mirror of 
that one that I stamped to start with. Now, what I'm hoping, if I've done it right, is because this and this are in the same place, when I come to use my die, I should be able to cut it out from either side. Oh, let's just put that down there. So, to grab the dies that I've just put down somewhere. There they are. So, I should be able to do that and it cut out the other way. Okay, so make sure I don't cut that one the wrong way around. This is my original, so I'm just going to use my mini machine. So I hope you all had a nice evening. Sorry, my um, finish yesterday was rather abrupt. With my brother on the phone. And then I was dashing to get something to eat before our team meeting. Okay, so. Just going to... Pop this one on here so this is the original one and I am going to use a couple of pieces of masking tape now I could have stamped the inside as well if I wanted to okay so let's cut that one out Sorry, it's, it's that one. Okay, so there's one beer tankard that way around. And then Obviously, if I went to cut this one, it would be the wrong way around. So, I'm just going to cut around this, actually, so it's not pushing so much through. I don't know why I needed quite such a big piece. So, do let me know what you got up to last night. Hope it was something nice or you had a chilled evening. Okay, so exactly the same thing again. I'm going to pop that onto there. So this is on effectively on the back. <laughs> and I can't see my tape that I had literally two seconds ago. <sighs> okay, I'll just grab a little bit more. one and that one kind to my hand go now fingers crossed this has come out in the right place should have done because it's in the same place on the other side and there it is so we've got two tankards one facing one way and one facing the other now obviously you could fussy cut that as well um, but when we do oh there's this when we do the mirror stamping of course you do have the image on the back Okay, so I wonder if this is going to be good enough just to stamp on. Let me grab the mat. There we go. And if you really wanted so saffron. Thank you.
Okay, so there's oh no, no cherry pop, I don't want that. Okay. So if this was, if this isn't, and it might not be, <laughs> um, symmetrical, this particular stamp, then what I would have done is stamp this as well in the same way, but I'm hoping I'll get away with it. I think my Cajun craze needs some more ink. So there's that one. There we go. And this one. There we are. Now my occasion craze is a little bit light, so I'm quite tempted to actually fill that in. So let's do that. Hi, Nikki. I hope you're well. Um, and I might. Just wondering whether to take it right the way to the top. We can't have half a. A beer tankard, can we? Okay. There we go. Hi, Sue. I hope you're well. I hope you've got nice weather up there in Bonnie, Scotland. I've got a craft kit for you. Let me know if you want me to post it out to you. And if not to you, to anybody else. Okay. Gonna straighten that up. There we are. So we've got two tankers, one going one way, one going the other way. Okay, so let's make this into a card. So I've got um, a few different layers because I wasn't quite sure. So I've got a white base card and I've got some of these festive foils that Catherine suggested, which I really am liking. So I might go for that. And in fact, this could go either way as well. This is the soft succulent one with more of a snowflake design. And I could put a piece across of some kind to anchor it, but I was thinking sort of two like that. So would it's better with a pattern? It's a bit busy, doesn't it? Okay, I wonder if I could get that sentiment, oh, A, oh, yes, on there. I think it might be too big. Let's have a look and see. Like so. What do we think? Uh, 
Feels a bit squashed in, doesn't it? work couldn't it okay so let's pop that on and I'm going to stamp that in the center I think and then just arrange those around it Early espresso. My phone just shut itself off as it's run out of battery. <laughs> hey ho. Okay. I'm going for it fairly central and then I can have the two glasses either side like that and like that what do we think does that work i think it does okay let's pop this together so that's um so that's to show you the how you can do the mirror stamping which i've done many a time before but also that mirror die cutting where you cut effectively from the back. So if you haven't done it before and you have a stamparatus or something similar, then give it a go and let me know. So these are the festive foils. that layer there and I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals I've only got little ones to hand but they'll do the job I'll just put two at a time So I hope you've got something nice planned for the rest of the day. I'm still waiting on some UPS deliveries. There have been some delays that Stamping Up are chasing up. So if you're waiting for a delivery from earlier in this month, then just know that Stamping Up are Chasing UPS to get a resolution. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in the middle. Roughly. And then pop these on like that, I think. So, I'm going to put the dimensionals on the outside edges and then just a little bit of glue to attach it to that layer and we should be good. Like so. Uh, 
there. That's one and two. I got that a bit close, yes I did. <laughs> lift that. There we are. And I might put a couple of those gold embellishments that we used yesterday just pick up this gold here so these are red and green adhesive back sequins perfect for Christmas but you've got silver and gold as well one two and three there we go so I hope you like that. I'm going to finish that off with another stamped beer mug on the inside and a happy birthday sentiment. But let me put my glasses on so I can see if I've missed any comments. So I hope you like that. So that's the third in our series. One, two and three. So let me check. that's all good yeah the papers do work well good choice Catherine just gives it a little bit um, you know just lifts it up doesn't it with the gold embossing on it and the cherry cobbler one here so I suppose I better use soft succulent tomorrow <laughs> just so I've got the complete the complete set so thank you so much for joining me I hope you like the designs for today um, you can get this stamp set on its own and you can also buy the stamp set as a bundle that goes with the dies. And you can find those both in the annual catalogue. Okay, so thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your day. I'm going to have a little clear up followed by a cup of coffee. And um, I look forward to crafting with you again soon. So we'll be back tomorrow, Thursday at 7pm UK time. So I look forward to crafting with you then. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, thanks for your kind comments. I hope everybody has a good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on when you're watching. And if you're watching on replay, do use hashtag replay um, so that I know you've caught up with us at a later date. Thank you so much, everyone. Do take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.